What's good, everybody? I'm back again today with another Aura's OU Wi-Fi battle. And I'm going to try and do this before my roommate walks in on me again, which when he walks in, he makes a lot of noise, and it just it just ruins everything, and I don't want you guys to have to deal with that. I just want you to have quality content. Today's battle is against Buzz, and I am using a Mega Gallade, and don't mind the uber, uber fairy weakness I have on my team, because I, you know, I got a heat tree, and I have a, I have a counter to fairy types. <laughs> Don't ever run the team that I'm running right now. <laughs> it's like hyper, hyper offensive, and it's just made to do damage very quickly. Don't ever run the pokes that I have, because almost all of them, except for Heatran, are weak to fairy. So don't do that. He leads off of the Infernape, which is fine. It's a lead ape. He's going to have Stealth Rocks. I thought that he would have Fake Out, but then again, he wouldn't go for it anyway. Because then I would outspeed next turn, and then he would have his he wouldn't have his focus sash intact because he would have lost health to rough skin. So he actually made the best play possible by just going straight up for the stealth rocks. And fortunately for him, I do have rocks on my own, so if I get them up before he has a chance to come back in, that is going to be a bit unfortunate for him because unless he's running defog on his Latios, which I do not think he is, he's going to be having problems. But I'm going to go out into my Heatran as he does go out into the Latios. I am scarfed, so I am locked into Earthquake, so I can't touch that thing with my Garchomp. At that point in time, so I got a Heatran. He actually misses the Draco Meteor. It wouldn't have done anything anyway, but, uh, you know, a miss is a miss. It is part of the game, though. So, I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear no Johns. But I am going to go ahead and get my Stealth Rocks up right now. As he went out into his Heatran on the same turn. Yes, this is a level 100 battle. Woohoo! Yay! Anyways... I'm going to go for the Protect here, just to kind of see what he wants to do, see what set he is. He actually goes for Stellar Rocks again after he already went for them with his Infernape. And uh, he's going to go for Earth Power here. I just wanted to see what he had, what kind of what kind of heat train he might be. But he does end up having the Earth Power. I don't know what just happened to my headset. My headset, like, went out for a second. But uh, I go for... <laughs> unfortunately, don't get it. And I'm going to go for another Protect just to get some HP back. And then I'm going to switch out of my Keldeo. So that's, uh, that's Pokemon for you. Protects and switching. That's, that's, that's pretty much what Pokemon has come down to. It's starting to look a lot like VGC. Singles is starting to look a lot like VGC with Protects on a lot of Pokemon. I have Protect on a lot of Pokemon. A lot. It's gross. I hate it. It's disgusting. It's not the way I want to play, but this day and age, you just kind of have to. But I go out into my Keldeo as he goes for the Earth Power. He's going to switch out because he does not want to die. And he's actually going to go out into Caesar just to see what I want to do. And I think that's one of the reasons why he wanted to keep his Infernape Ape around. Because he can scout for moves, although he doesn't have Protect. So, it's always nice to have. He's actually going to go out into Latios now. And I'm going to go for uh, Protect just to see what he wants to do, of course. Like I said, Protect on every Mon. It sucks, but it's what you got to do. He does go for the Psy Shock, which is fine. That's what I wanted to see him go for. And now, almost every Latios that you are going to be seeing in OU running around these days is either Choice Specs or Choice Scarfed. Choice Scarf for the Surprise Factor, and to deal with, well, used to be able to deal with Mega Mints a little bit. But now you're going to start seeing them run Specs again. So I knew that I was 90% safe to go out into my Greninja. I knew I was 90% safe. There was a 10% chance that he could have gone for Draco. But... More than likely, he was going to go for Psy Shock just so we could kill my kill dude. But, go out into Greninja. He switches out, goes out into Feral Thorn. What's great about that is Ice Beam still does around 30% even at level 100. At level 100, you do less damage than you do at level 50 uh, in terms of ratio. Obviously, you're going to be doing more damage at level 100, but ratio-wise, you're going to be doing more damage at level 50 than you are at level 100. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me why. That's just how it works. So, I potentially have a 3-hit KO on this Feral Thorn. He did go for Leech Seed, and he did miss, which is a bit unfortunate, but fortunate for me. He, he needs some, some glasses. I think he's having the same kind of problem. I think we need to get this man some LASIK eye surgery. But uh, I'm going to switch out. I do not want to die for, to a uh, Gyro Bomb, because I have a feeling that's what he's going to want to go for. So, I'm actually going to go out into my Heatran to absorb that. If he wants to go for anything, my Heatran can deal with it. If he goes for Leech Seed, my Heatran can deal with it. He goes with Drow Ball, I can deal with the Power Whip, whatever. I quad resist pretty much every offensive attack that Ferrothorn 
normally runs. If, if he were, for whatever reason, the Choice Man set, he could have hit me with Bulldoze, and that would have completely destroyed me. But he's not, because he obviously has Leech Seed and Gyro Ball and all that good stuff. So he's not Choice Man. But I'm out in my Heatran. I am going to go for the Lava Plume. Um, I haven't been taking pictures of people's teams when I stream and do battles, which I need to start doing again because I do things like this and give random Heatrans flash fire boost or heal thing. I haven't healed anything with Hydro Pump or like Scald, nothing with Water Absorb, but things like Heatran, people with like flash fire, they do tend to get me or I'll go for Outrage and I'll have a Steel type in the back. So I need to start taking pictures of people's teams again. That's, that's the number one thing that I can recommend to you. That I haven't recommended before already in previous videos is to take pictures or at least write down your opponent's team to see what they have. That way, when you're making switches or going for moves, you can see what Pokemon they have left and kind of predict and see what they want to do. So that's that's just a little tip there. He goes for Earth Power. I am unfortunately going to let him take my Heatran a bit early, which I didn't really want to do, but I kind of had to do because I had to go out into my Terrakion. And you guys are actually going to see some. Big damage from Terrakion. I didn't want to upload this video because I don't showcase Gallade as much as I would have liked, but I still do, so you're going to have to just wait. Terrakion was definitely the MVP of this match. Taking out the Heat Train, he's actually going to go out into the Pidgeot. I am Scarf Terrakion, so I do outspeed this Pidgeot, uh, regardless of whether he's um, normal or mega. Uh, so both ways there. And this thing, it's just look at it. Sun Goku over there. It's powerful. But Pidgeot retains its normal typing when it Mega Evolves, so fighting type attacks are neutral, and Mega Pidgeot does not have the greatest defense. So close combat is actually going to be able to take that thing out, which is great for me. At this point in time, he does not know that I'm Scarfed, because Pidgeot, before it Megas, I think has like base 102-ish speed. I don't know, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is, but I think it's something like that. So at this point in time, he was thinking that I was banded. He did not think that I was Scarfed. I was in a Skype call with him during this battle and he thought I was banded so he thought it was safe to go out into his Terrakion and even then he still thought I was banded and just won a speed tie which is great for me this right here is where he actually figures out that I am scarfed and not banded because I actually outspeed him so that is when he finally figured out that I was scarfed and not banded which was very unfortunate for him because you know I got a, I got a sweep I got three Pokemon down with just my Terrakion which is great so, you know, tracking on putting in work. This thing is a monster. It's still way too big of a threat in O3 OU. I don't think it needs to be banned, but it's it's definitely a threat. He actually goes for the, the Draco instead of the Psy Shock, which is fine. If I still had my Heatran, I definitely would have switched to it. Definitely would have been the better play than letting this thing die. But I didn't have anything that I could switch into that I wanted to die. So, I, uh, you know, that's kind of what I had to do. And it gives me a free opportunity to go out into my Gallade. He's at minus two. He is choice specs. If from, what, from what I remember him telling me, he has choice specs. Um, so he's still going to outspeed me, unfortunately, at least this turn. So I am going to take some damage from this Draco Meteor. That's fine, though, because like I said, he's at minus two. And I have decent special defense. So I can live at least one Draco, get off an Ice Punch, take out the Latios, which is great for me. Now, I'm running Zen Headbutt, Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Knock Off on my Gallade. There are so many different sets out there. I want to get one with Shadow Sneak just because... It seems like there are a lot of mons out there that Gallade can deal with, or at least somewhat check, and get them to really low HP, but then just gets bopped by other Pokemon like that. Um, one one instance being Mega Metagross. It can do a lot of damage to Mega Metagross, uh, but Metagross just goes for Meteor Mash the first turn, and then on the next turn when it lives, it goes for Bullet Punch and knocks you out, which is super unfortunate, and then I see it way too often. So I think I'm starting to think about possibly getting a Shadow Sneak Mega Gallade set because Mega Gallade is very powerful Pokemon. Base 165 attack and base 110 speed. Thing is a threat. Way too big of a threat. Way too fast, way too strong. Now its defenses aren't too great. Special defense is okay. Uh, it actually gets a pretty decent boost to its defense going from 65 to 95 when it Megas. So that's, that's something. You know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's better than nothing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed it. It really helps me out, guys. Trying to hit 2K. We're about 360 away from at the time of me uploading this video. Or at least recording it. But we're close. Ew. And check out this video. I'm, I'm not going to put anything here. I'm just going to put a, an annotation thing right here. Click that. It'll take you to a wrap that I just recently did. 
And it's about Mega Evolutions. About It's about all of the new Mega Evolutions that have been released for Auras. So if you're interested in Raps or at least Pokemon, I, I urge you to check it out. I think it's really good. Obviously, it, it is explicit. So if you're younger, you know, ask a parent if it's okay to watch it, have them watch it first or whatever. Because I know there are some younger ones that watch my videos. And so ask your parents first. Ask mom and dad. I don't want anybody getting mad at me because that would be bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you back again tomorrow because I don't have another paper due for a while. Peace out, guys.